This week's Green Hour Challenge includes a suggestion for making leaf rubbings as a means of collecting leaves. This is very simply done with things that you have at home. I'm sure all of you have some sort of bucket of old crayons that you could use and take the paper off of. I go through the bucket and find colors that I might like to use for my leaf rubbings. Make sure you take the paper off. You don't need to use the larger crayons, but sometimes it's easier because they don't break. Um, you can use the smaller crayons. I went outside and I collected just a few leaves so that you get the idea of how to do this. Um, here is a jasmine leaf. To get started, you just place it under the paper. Um, I am using copier paper because my nature journal, the pages are too thick to really get a good rubbing. So I do my rubbings with copier paper and then I put the rubbing into the nature journal. Make sure you're holding the leaf in place under the paper because if it moves, you won't get a good rubbing. So take your crayon and make sure you're using the side of it and just rub the leaf. Make sure to get all the edges and that's all there is to it. I like to label my leaves. This is a, hmm, a jasmine leaf. And then after I label it, I take the scissors and cut it out and it's ready to go right into my nature journal. I use double back tape. Um, just slide some on there and go ahead and place it into your nature journal just like that. If you have smaller pages you could put one leaf on each page but I'm going to take another leaf and let's see, make it easier. Make sure to make sure it's flat under there. Hold it firmly. Rub it with your crayon. Make sure to get all the edges so that it looks like a leaf. And that's from my Fotinia bush. And there it's ready to go right into my nature journal. One last suggestion, if you're using a really large leaf that doesn't like to lay flat, you may need to help your child with this. This magnolia leaf really doesn't lay flat, but it gives a really nice rubbing. If you can hold it still, you can see all the veins. Just make sure to use the side of your crayon to get a nice crisp leaf rubbing. And that's all there is to it. So this is an easy way to make a collection without ending up with a lot of dried up leaves into your nature journal.